Griddle Master. Cooking up the good stuff. Hey, Griddle Master Joe here with you. Wow, as soon as I start filming, it starts to rain hard. We're here in uh, not uh, sunny South Florida, but overcast thunder skies. A lot of you have been asking to have the Bakers and Chefs or the Members Mark, the big griddle top. You've, I've talked to a lot of you and you guys are asking, how can we lock this down? We, we're not going back and forth between the grates. We're just cooking on the griddle top and, and you want to be able to lock it down. I lock mine down because I don't want to wait to let it cool all the way down before I clean it. I went out to Home Depot, actually had Mrs. Griddle Master go out to Home Depot and get the parts that I needed so that I can tell you exactly what I use and how to do it. In order to do it, you're going to need a drill, you're going to need pliers, you're going to need a screwdriver, um, probably a flathead screwdriver based on exactly what you get. Um, and then I have number 10, 24, 10 to 24, um, three quarter inch um, machine screws. And I'll put this up on the website. And then I also have some sheet metal screws, number 10, three quarter inch again. Um, and then I have self drilling screws. Number 10, 3 quarter inch, so keeping with that number 10 will make it a lot easier for you guys. And then obviously number 10-24, your uh, machine screw nuts. Okay, so then I also have some more nuts that are a little bit thicker, bigger. You can get additional, I'll, I'll go over this as we install. Um, and then a couple of drill bits. Okay, so we have a 3 16 a 3 16 for cutting steel, for drilling in the steel, and then a 5 64 3 16 and 5 64 So let me move this off to the side. Let me take this camera. Oh, check it out. Griddle Master added to the family, and I know you can't see up here, you can see a little bit, but uh, very nice. I love it. I have so much more room to store stuff right behind me, just like I'm doing now. Check that out. That is awesome. Plus I have on this one, look how much table space here we get for using that. So anyway, here we go. Locking it down. Where are we going to lock it down? And that's why I have this camera here. So that way as I talk, I can actually... Um, point to it and and when I do the video editing you'll you'll be able to see so what we have is I want to be able to lock down right here right here I want to lock down in the middle I want to lock down over here and then towards the front of us closest to me I want to lock down the corner here and the corner over here Okay, so it's very simple, very, very simple. Um, probably, probably more simple than making that modification that has to be done. So what I'm going to do and what your first step is, is you got to actually take your top off because you don't want to drill through on the ones closest to us. You don't want to go through into the other steel. Um, we just want to drill through the griddle top itself. Oh, so much for that camera. <laughs> so I'm going to lift it up and just set it off to the side a little bit here. Okay, so if I just do that. Now what we could do is get our drill. Get our bigger drill bit, the 3 16 and put it in. And then we're going to drill through the three spots. The, the, the furthest part, we're going to drill through here, here, and I don't know if the above camera is getting us. Let me just, for the heck of it. So, we're going to do here, 
here in the middle and here at the end. I just recommend you come an inch or two inches, whatever's comfortable for you, it's not a big deal. For those of you that still keep your wind flap on, the wind cover, you have, you have a, a place there, you obviously want to avoid drilling that. So you could even come four inches in, um, five inches over and do it. Just avoid that. I took mine off mostly for filming purposes because when I film, obviously it would be in the way and you wouldn't be seeing the food. So you're going to just simply drill through, all the way through, drill all the way through, and drill all the way through. Okay? Now, over here we're doing just two. So you would drill through here. Now obviously mine's done. Okay? And then you're also going to drill over here through on this one. Wherever it is, there it is. Okay, so I've done five. I put five. Three towards the back, two towards the front. And, and just in the middle. So if you have a one inch lip, which we all do um, with our Bakers and Chefs or Members Mark top, you have a one inch top, you're just going to drill right through the center, up and down through the center. Again, there's no, no perfection that you have to worry about, just, just somewhere in the middle. And then we're going to go, go ahead and put this back on and set it to where we want it. If you're so picky that you want, if you're so picky that you want absolute perfection, you can sit here and measure off, get a tape measure and measure off your, it's roughly about two inches and two inches and now we know we're centered and then look how convenient that is got my scissors I'm gonna open up my my uh, machine screws this is has a four pack of number 10-24 by three quarter inch machine screws I'm gonna cut that open now this is the trickiest of of, of the whole thing and that is what what I have done is I have put a spacer, meaning I'm using just another nut, okay? And so I put this through, um, through the beginning here, and I set the nut in place. Let me push, pull this back. Put the nut in place, lift it up. Push it through to hold it. Slide it back into place and push it through. That's it. It's, it's pushed through. Then all we have to do is get our number 1024 um, machine screw nuts. I'm going to cut that nice. And then hold it in place, twist it on, get our Phillips, that's it. We're going to do the same to the middle, the other end, that will be done, and let me go over this. Now, now I've, I've, I've drilled the hole here and a hole here. What we're going to do is we're going to take our little bit now, which you can do this with a little bit, or 
even if you get the um, even if you get the cell self drilling self tapping screws, um, they can cut through the metal on the top that's going in. So you don't you don't have to drill with this little bit, which is a 560 forts. Um, but what I, I do recommend it even still, it just makes your life a lot easier. You put it on the drill and you drill through. Try to be in the middle as best you can as far as that. Um, drill through and just to start the hole. That's all the purpose is, is to start the hole. And then, <laughs> get our scissors. Let's cut this open. Now you could use this, if you look at, I'll hold it up for you, you can see, it's, I don't know, hopefully you can see it, it's, it's got a funny head to, or a funny uh, starter, that's the self-tapping. This will actually cut through and, and auto, automatically make that hole. It won't do it in the, in the griddle top, that's why you have to pre-drill it, but it will into the griddle into the, your grill, into the front. There's nothing in the way here that's going to hurt it because um, we're only doing three quarters of an inch. All right? The other way is I have the number 10 three quarter inch sheet metal screws which you can do and this does not have a self-tapping head. It just has a point. And this one is a self-tapping. Okay? So, you can use that if, because you, if you pre-drill that little, that 560 forts, you pre-drill it in there that has the hole, this will just go right through and bzzz, and, and be grab, grab on real tight. So, that is how, in, in fact, I'll, I'll go ahead and do this one over here. And because I already have my holes, and this is a hex head. I didn't, I didn't um, bring the hex head. Uh, one like this that you could, you could screw in. But I didn't bring the right size out with me. So that's okay, it's got a straight, which I totally recommend. Get that hex head, it'll make it a lot easier. But again, since mine is already done, I'm just going to go, put it through, and watch. That's it. I'm screwing in very, very easy. Probably once I get closer, it'll get tougher. But anyway, I just wanted to screw it in and center it. There. Um, I'll, I'll get the hex head and that way I can tighten it right up and zip it right in. It's going to pull everything tight. So, recapping. You're going to do three holes. You could just do two, but I recommend the three. That'll add additional support in the middle for you. So, drill three holes in your top, at the top part. Two holes towards the back. Put in your your screw, um, the, the, the bolt in the middle as a spacer, and that spacer is only going to deter be based on what you need, but I found that, that to work out perfect. Just a, uh, and, and again, I'll put the part numbers up on the screen. So, three up there, two down here, the, the screw, the spacer, the nut on all three, and here is um, just even uh, regular screws that, that, again, I'll put the part numbers in. You just screw those in, and that's it. Your top can be so, so hot. You could be up to six, 700 degrees, and you can squirt the water to your heart's content, and the top's not going to move at all. For those of you, and, and here's the thing, for those of you that it has lifted or, or you're saying whatever, Make sure you're pushing it down flush, as hard as flush when, you're, when you drill and you, you mount this. You don't want to mount it with it lifted up at it, any end. Just uh, 
just make sure you push it down before you drill that hole of where everything's going to go. All right. Um, wow. Let me go ahead and take this camera. And just so you could zoom in here. What that looks like. And you're going to do that for all three. And then over here is just the one. And once we screw that in, that will pull everything tight and the thing won't move at all. Okay, we're back. And because of filming, check it out. This is towards the back of the grill. All three of them. Here's up front with the hex head. Then we look down here. And there's that one. So anyway, Griddle Master Joe here with you, showing you how to lock down your your bakers and chefs or members mark. Alright, Griddle Master Joe signing out.